Hello, I'm Judy New for the Faith Frontier Update, the news and information program of our St. John Church, one church ministering in multiple locations. Growth groups allow the participants to study a curriculum along with God's Word and discuss how to apply it to the issues and challenges of life. There are four ultimate goals of the growth group, discipleship, fellowship, relationship, and worship. All growth groups have a biblically-based curriculum where the participants will complete lessons by using the Bible as their main source for answers. The breakouts are available for men, women, young adults and singles, and couples. The books for each breakout are $10. The Love Conference is this Thursday through Saturday. Our guest preacher will be Pastor Jeffrey Johnson of Eastern Star Church, Indianapolis, Indiana. There will be something for everyone, including youth and children. Pastor Johnson will address the singles this Friday in the sanctuary, and there will be a dance in the Family Life Center. On Friday and Saturday, the marriage retreat will take place at the beautiful Weston Hotel in Irving. Pastor Johnson will teach us on the topic, Marriage, Mission Possible. The cost is only $150 per couple. You can register for these services in our foyer or see your bulletin and church website for more details. Next Sunday, February 19th, will be Men's Day here at the St. John Church. Our 100-voice men's choir will sing, and our guest speaker will be Dr. Joel Gregory. You don't want to miss this event as our men take their rightful place and praise and worship our God. It's time to get in shape while learning the latest line dances with a spiritual twist. Dancer size will uplift your spirit while you lose a size dancing your way through a fulfilling cardio aerobic workout. Dancer sites will be held once a week for seven weeks. The cost of each seven week cycle is $49. Registration will close after the second week of each session. So register today. To register, please send an email to connect at sjbcfamily.com with your first name and last name and contact number. Attention. All young adults between the ages of 18 and 35. Do you have the desire to sing? St. John Church is combining the young adults with the former youth choir to form the new St. John Youth and Young Adult Choir. Rehearsal will be the third and fourth Wednesday and Saturday of each month starting February 15th. If you have any questions, please contact Reverend Stephen Littlejohn at slittlejohn at sjbcfamily.com. And now, this moment in history. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, was founded on February 12, 1909, after a race riot in Springfield, Illinois in 1908. The call went out to the Northerners to find a way to create social equality. In 1909, a group of multiracial activists held a conference in New York City in response to the call and decided to form the NAACP, originally called the National Negro Committee. We salute the NAACP for its commitment to social equality and join them in celebrating this 103rd Founders Day. Today, the NAACP representatives are available in the lobby to register you to vote in the upcoming elections. Also, while we're on the subject of voting, the Texas Legislature recently passed Senate Bill 14, creating a new photo voter identification requirement for all elections in Texas beginning January 1, 2012. This means that in order to vote, you must have at least one of the following, a driver's license, election identification certificate, personal identification card, or concealed handgun license issued by Texas Department of Public Safety, or a United States military identification card containing your photograph, a United States citizen certificate containing your photograph, or a U.S. passport. If you need to go to the Department of Public Safety to obtain a photo ID, be prepared for a two to three hour wait. One vote, your vote can make the difference. It's that time of year again when we start the Daniels Fast. The Daniels Fast will start on February 22nd and run through April the 6th. 
If you want to cleanse your body and soul, this is what you've been asking for. Our Growing in the Spirit bookstore will have a cookbook with recipes from a Southern African American perspective. February is Black History Month. On the fourth Sunday, February 26th, the St. John family is encouraged to wear African attire. Pastor Davis's book of the month for February is Courageous Living, Dare to Take a Stand by Michael Catt. And our CD of the month is I Survived by Dorinda Clark Cole. Books and CD items are available in our Growing in the Spirit bookstore. Also, copies of today's message and previous messages can be purchased in the Growing in the Spirit bookstore following this service. Well, that's our news for today. I'm Judy New. Have a blessed week.